conservative host Bill O'Reilly thinks that voter disenfranchisement doesn't exist, and he's going to give an awful reason why. Ohio, the mm -hmm. law in Ohio, they're one of the top 10 states in the country yeah. that allows for, you know, long time in advance um, election. You know, you can sign up 30 days in advance and you can, you can uh, Yeah, vote they're very early. lenient they're about what they can lenient, do and what they can't do. But there was no evidence, no exactly. sufficient evidence of disenfranchisement or there any never kind has of been. overt action. There never has been. Oh, All right. of the states that say battleground. you have to show an ID, you know, and that, right. oh, no, you can't do that. <laughs> oh, no, 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 then after African Americans will. I'm, I'm saying to myself, every African American I know has an ID. And not only that, the states that want that will send you an ID. Right. They'll right. come to your or house free. with the ID. Free. And ice cream. Not They'll give cream. you ice cream with the ID. And the ride anywhere. Right. And, 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 and then it'll take you to the movie. I didn't see the after. Ice cream. Whoa. Well, okay. Ice cream? No, they're going to bring you ice cream with your free ID. No, that's actually not true. <laughs> that is completely untrue. That is a bald face bullshit lie. Are you kidding me? No, they're going to take it to your house and they're going to give you ice cream and they're going to take you out to the movies. Right? That's what's going to happen. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Now, here's the other thing, right? Uh, the, the most amazing thing he said, voter first disenfranchisement doesn't exist, right? Voter disenfranchisement doesn't exist. Because I have friends, all my black friends have IDs. You have black friends? <laughs> okay, so maybe if he does. Maybe he does, right? But um, all the guys that I know, all the black people I know, they've got IDs. Really. Um, do you remember that Bill O'Reilly once told a story that he went into a black restaurant. And he sat down and he was surprised that people weren't yelling, Get me some iced tea, mf -er. This is Bill O'Reilly's experience with African Americans. Okay, so every African American I know has an ID. Well, you probably know rich conservatives. Okay, and those they exist, rich conservative African Americans. So that's his experience. Now, onto the substance, right? Now, Kimberly Guilfoyle, who was there, she's like, oh, we didn't find any evidence of disenfranchisement whatsoever really hmm well i've got a good example a federal appeals court recently found that in north carolina the impact of their voter id law could only have been described as or i'm sorry explained as discriminatory intent yes they passed voter id laws it's actually some of the strictest in the nation and this appeals court found that Hey, man, that's that's you know what? That is discriminatory. You're trying to keep black people away from the polls. The Atlantic reports that the three judge panel in Richmond, Virginia, unanimously concluded that the law was racially discriminatory and it blocked a requirement that voters show photo ID uh, and restored same day voter registration. A week of early voting that golden week and pre registration for teenagers and out of precinct voting. Diana, uh, Judge Diana Gibbon Motts, Gribbon Motts, sorry, um, wrote this as their decision. And what comes to as close as a smoking gun as we are likely to see in modern times, the state's very justification for a challenge statute hinges explicitly on race. Specifically, it's concerned that African Americans who had overwhelmingly voted for Democrats had too much access to the franchise. Too much. Wow. No, no, of course, there's absolutely no disenfranchisement, none whatsoever. In fact, they give you ice cream and they take you to the movies afterwards. That's what Bill O'Reilly says. Well, Bill O'Reilly's full of shit. That's not what happens. And look, this is what his viewers are watching. This is what people are thinking, right? The Fox audience is like, yeah, those black people, what are they complaining about? They get ice cream and a free ID. This is great for them. Why are they complaining so much? Because... What you're seeing, what Bill O'Reilly is telling you, are fucking bold-faced lies. Okay? They're not getting ice cream. They're not getting free IDs. No, they're getting disenfranchised. In fact, according to a result of a working paper by, uh, from political scientists at the University of California, San Diego. Now, she found that, um, well, I, I'm sorry, they found that after they analyzed voter turnout, 
uh, between 2008 and 2012 in states that did and did not implement the strictest form of voter ID laws. Uh, they found that these laws consistently and significantly decreased turnout, not just among traditionally Democratic-leaning groups like blacks and Hispanics, but among Republican voters, too. They are disenfranchising their own base. Your own voters. Republicans. But you don't give a fuck about them. No, no. If you disenfranchise some Republican voters in order to disenfranchise nearly all or most uh, Democrat, uh, Democratic voters, Hispanics and Latinos... Well, then, okay, well, that's a fine trade-off. Because we don't care about our people anyway. Fuck them. That's essentially what they're saying. And look, when it comes down to it, mission accomplished. Now, I'm sure some of you will probably ask, well, well yeah, but what about the voter fraud? There's plenty of voter fraud, right? Well, a recent Gallup poll found that 52% of Republicans think that ineligible voters casting ballots will be a major problem in this year's election. A major problem. 52%, over half of Republicans. Yeah, God damn it, there's going to be voter fraud. They're going to come up, they're going to they're gonna impersonate somebody else in order to vote for a Democrat. Well, we can't have that. we got to have these voter IDs. However, a recent study of over a billion votes cast showed that just they had just 31 cases of in-person voter fraud. The very type that O'Reilly and the rest of the Republicans have been made to be concerned about thanks to bullshit uh, artists like Bill O'Reilly. Now, here's the thing, right? See, these laws were supposed to prevent in-person voter fraud, right? They found 31 cases over a billion votes. But see, what they don't find are the other types of voter fraud. According to a Loyola Law School professor named Justin Levitt, these laws, photo ID laws, don't actually prevent the kind of fraud that actually happens. He writes, most current ID laws aren't designed to help stop fraud with absentee ballots. Indeed, laws requiring ID at the polls push more people into the absentee system where there are plenty of real dangers. Or vote buying, or coercion, or fake registration forms, or voting from the wrong address, or ballot box stuffing by officials in on a scam. Instead, requirements to show ID at the polls are designed to pretty much do one thing. Uh, prevent people from showing up at the polls pretending to be someone else in order to cast one incremental fate ballot. And he says, quote, this is a slow, clunky way to steal an election, which is why it rarely happens. So they're trying to solve a problem that doesn't exist. When actually, they're not trying to solve a problem at all. You see, Republicans... They don't care about voter fraud. They actually support these laws because they keep minorities and people who vote primarily for Democrats away from the polls. After all, you have that famous speech by the godfather of the modern conservative movement in which he said, we don't want everyone to vote. As a matter of fact, our leverage in the elections quite candidly goes up as the voting populace goes down. That's been their plan the whole time. Voter ID laws are just another way to bring that plan into fruition. So where they have less voters and more Republican wins. This is how you steal an election. By making sure no one else votes. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron. Patreon.com slash TYT Nation.